Governor Roy Cooper vetoed Senate Bill 41, which aimed to repeal pistol purchase permits and wasn't the only change legislators were seeking. The legislation also included a provision to allow concealed carry permit holders to carry firearms on church property where a school is located. Brian Yerke, a firearms instructor, says it's a slight change in North Carolina law where concealed carry is already legal on church property if it's permitted. A church being private property may restrict carry of weapons. They may post and say no weapons allowed. Under SB 41, handguns would not be allowed during curricular or extracurricular activities or when the space is being used for educational, instructional, or school-sponsored activities. Yerke believes that if the right people are allowed to carry handguns, vulnerable spaces will be safer. And that gun owner is willing to intercede or um, perhaps is empowered to intercede, mm -hmm. um, then Obviously, I think people would be much, much safer. Colette Forrest, a mother and gun owner, watched the tragedy unfold at a school in Nashville Monday and couldn't help but think of her own experiences. She was in Charleston in 2015 when nine members of Emanuel AME Church were killed. No one knows more heart-wrenching the tragedy that occurred in the Emanuel Church. She believes whether at a school or church, more guns isn't the answer. You're there to worship. You're not there to think about weapons. You're there to worship. You're there to follow the Christian teachings of Christ and God. 